So Sean and I finally got the opportunity to go fishing with Leon, Captain Leon. He charters out of Crystal River and we had an outstanding day. It was amazing. We caught big fish all day long. And to be honest with you, Leon really put on a clinic today. Yeah, so that morning trip, uh, it started out at low tide. We met here at Pete's Pier. We went over how the day was gonna be on the super low tide. So I came up with, let's run off out to our spool banks and go catch some trout. I was the first one to catch a fish. No big deal. I mean, I'm not gonna make a big deal about that. It was the only time in the day that I had the most fish. There you go. That's like a mac or something. That's a trout. Oh, that's a trout. Nice one. Here, hold on. I'll come over there and help you out. Probably get it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, look at this, man. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's, that's a good one. That's a fine one. Yep. Man, Thank you, sir. look at that. That's a fine one right there, bud. Here you go, Sean. Um, Sean immediately caught one after I did. His was even bigger than mine, which that's what Sean does, you know? He's uh, he's oh the big fish guy. <laughs> that's a fine trout, buddy. Yeah, Good is. work, dude. Man. I mean, Goodness, look at that I mean thing. he just nailed it right next to the boat. Nice trout. Get that hook up out of your way. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That is beautiful. Look at that thing. It's a good 18, 19 inch trout. Big, fat, healthy female. Yeah. Can we get a picture real quick? Yep. I met Leon uh, a couple years ago while I was at Pete's Pier cleaning some fish. I was wearing an a older uh, fishing tournament, uh, redfish tournament shirt, and we just kind of started up from there. Uh, we stayed in contact throughout the year and I was in a bind. We planned this trip, uh, this fishing uh, episode up in the uh, Crystal River, and it was unfortunately I hit a rock or something underneath the, the water with the lower unit, and it messed up the prop pretty bad. So uh, speaking with Leon, he stepped up, and he's like, hey, I'd be glad to take you all out for a day of fishing. Once the tide was up high enough, we started pushing down south. And before we got to the mangroves where we wanted to fish at, we stopped by Leon's pinfish trap and loaded down the bait well and got some pinfish. So we're gonna come right over here, fish this island right here in front of us. Uh, there's a little drop off on the backside of it. When it's super shallow like this, it, the fish will sit in that drop off. And it's only about an eight inch drop off. So eight inches is just enough to keep them covered. So hopefully they'll be there waiting on us when we get there. Man, I got something bumping mine. No, he didn't. Oh, you're on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm coming in. So it wasn't very long um, after we started idling across the flats and th that the water started coming in pretty good. And once we were able to, we scooted right up to the first island and Leon caught a very nice redfish. Good redfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, we have a net on the boat now. <laughs> oh my God. And he still can't to get it done. <laughs> nice. Look at that hook in that thing. Nice. Boy, that's a good red. Nice red, man. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Nice. nice. Oh, he spit out another one of our baits. Yeah, he did. Spit out another one of our baits. Guy was up there just eating. Man. Solid fish, buddy. See him up there? Did I go too far? Nope, right? nope, nope. You're there. You're there. You're just right on that Dude, outside look at the that edge. Of thing. Look at the tail. Yeah. Blue. It's mm. all lit up. Nice, dude. 
another snoop. Okay, I'm gonna go for this spot right here. Don't jump again. There you go. Go for this little spot right here. Yeah, that's where that uh, red went in over there. Just cast over again. Yep. There. We uh, offer inshore fishing charters, near shore trips. We don't go past nine miles. Uh, we stay inside nine miles, m mostly redfish, trout, snook, with occasional shallow water groupers during the season. That's more of the fall season for us. You're making us look really bad, Leon. <laughs> There he is. Oh yeah, good snook. Good snook. Got him, he's out. Yeah, he's out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, good one. Let's grab. Here, I grab the net. Dude, nice fish. Oh, it's got a lot of grass too. Good job, dude. Dude, I saw that I fish hit the same spot. come up and just clobber it. My mud minnow is just sitting there flopping on the surface and out comes this big old snook and he just hammered it right off the surface. So I was back on again and they're like, another fish, here we go. Uh, but it was cool. We all got to watch that snook eat the bait right off the surface. So that was one of the coolest bites that we had that day. Good job, man. This is Good the job. Lee on show. Good job. This is the Lee on show. Get a shot with him here. Captain Leon. Oh my goodness. It's a great fish. So I was just kicking their butts and I'm I'm telling them, I'm like, guys, y'all y'all need to tighten up. We, we need to get some more fish. Just cutting up with them, having a good time. Shortly after that, Sean casts up there and Sean hooks up to a redfish. And Sean's like, oh my gosh, there's a bigger one behind. He's like, redfish, redfish, redfish. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, good. Oh, that's oh, a good reds, one. Reds, 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 reds. There's two here, of them up there. Let me, let me get a bait. Look at him. Oh man, it's a bruiser too. Is he still there? Yeah, there's a couple of them with him. Right behind it. All right, I'm going in. Go ahead. There you go. See it right behind it? See yep. him? Yep. Right here, right there. Right there. Nice red too. Yeah, that's a good red. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Doubled up. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a snow. Oh, oh. And then he just instantly hooks up and then all of a sudden it's like pure chaos. All I can see is here and is this nook, this nook in the background here, just here, bust front, in the water. In and so I'm trying to get this, my redfish on hook and next minute, Leon's taking his snook and just boat slings it right, right in there. to the boat. Oh, that's a good snook, dude. Oh, we gotta get that in. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, you just boat flip that in here like a <laughs> freaking double up. Golly, man. Dude, y'all gotta stand up and hold them things up together. Goodness. Y'all just did some work. Oh my gosh.
So it was a blast. So we get all these fish, you know, we're both getting them unhooked and then we take our pictures, whatever. And then not even like two minutes after that, Matt pitches up in this pocket and just hooks into a nice another snook. There he is. Got one? Come on, buddy. There we go. Come on, Matt. Got you a snooky. Got me a snook. Yeah, I'm trying to dig under the boat there, boy. <coughs> nice. Oh. Did you get it? <laughs> yes. Sean threw near the shoreline right up there and hooked a, a good red. There was like three or four behind it, so we all grabbed baits and we pitched in behind it and um, Leon got his bait right up in there and hooked a very respectable snook. And then while they were releasing theirs, I was able to get mine up there and caught another good snook. Oh my gosh, that thing said, that thing said no more. <laughs> I was feeling a little left out. I, was, I was, uh, hadn't caught a redfish yet in the day. Leon, I think he had only caught, I don't know, maybe 20. So um, it, was, it was shortly after that though that I pitched my bait up there and I felt a bite and I sat on this fish, wound, got tight to it and it started pulling drag and immediately I knew it was a red fish. Oh, hooked up. That's a good red. Oh yeah, it is red. Yep. See one with it? I don't see anything yet. Yeah. Matt, nah, I'll come and help you, buddy. Hi. Right. How orange that fish is. I know. Make sure you breathe, Matt. <laughs> You're not breathing. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to breathe. Look at you, boy, just in the nick of time. Look at that. Look at the spots on that one on the other side. Oh, man. Look at the extra spot on this side. how orange that fish is. Pushed around the island, just kind of pitching baits here and there. And then we just went ahead and went back all the way around just to let things settle down. When things settled down, Matt threw on a big bait. I remember actually, as he handed me the biggest pinfish that was in the live well, he said, can you handle this big bait? Because I gave him a big bait before and he messed it up and lost the fish on it. You know, he caught a few fish and got pretty comfortable, I think, so. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Big snook, big snook, big snook. Big snook. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, that's here, a I got the net. You got him out of the trees. Just take him time. Yes, baby. That was a big bait, too. pop it oh yeah and then she ran so fast this way she's come right to the boat right to the boat oh, come back here oh <laughs> that's that belt that's a dandy right there buddy oh that is a dandy perfect hook set too right on the corner got it yep all right let it go Leon, I say this is what you come to Crystal River for. Yes, sir. Good fishing. That's what we like is these big, healthy snook. My goodness. 
I said. You handed me that bait and you said, you think you can handle that bait? <laughs> what do you think I did? <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. Look how big that thing is. Got a nice 30, close to 30 inch snook. Oh my goodness. Get a quick measurement on that girl. See All how right. big she is. So we finished the day off. Leon was like telling the cameraman, Tony's like, hey, grab your camera. You're gonna enjoy this view. And on the way back, he took us through the back country of Homosassa, Ozella, into Crystal River. And we went through the trails of the mangroves where you're just weaving in and out all through. And it almost reminds you of going like down into 10,000 Islands. You're just cruising through these mangroves, just heading back toward the dock. Just shows you, you know, how much of a gem Nature Coast is. It's just secluded. There's no houses, there's no condos, hotels, anything like that on the water. Over there, it's nothing but you're out in the woods, you're lost, that's your time. you guys are ever in the Crystal River area and you guys want to go out and you guys want to catch fish like we caught today, you guys should book a trip with Captain Leon Hampton with Real Time Outfitters. The guy is not only personable, but he's dedicated and he will make sure that you have the best opportunity to put fish in the boat. From start to finish, the guy was dedicated and the results speak for themselves. We had an amazing day. So thanks Captain Leon, I appreciate it.